Let's thank God for all our leaders. Let's give it up for Pastor Joyce. Come on. Let's give it up for her. We also want to thank God for Elder Bonaparte, Elder Jackson. Thank God for the elders. Let's thank God for Deacon Lee and Deaconess Brenda. Come on. Thank God for our ministers, Minister Joshua, Minister Jawan, and Minister Arnisha. Let's bless God for Minister Avery in his absence, Minister Brad Bristow, Minister Jennifer Singletary, Minister Sheree Eli. Thank God for Sister Jackie Mason, Sister Jamika Hemingway, Brother Brandon Morrison, Sister Jasmine Morrison. Thank God for all our leaders. Tell your neighbor it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Ah, uh, yeah, somebody read. Somebody said it's just a blessing. Oh, God, I pray. Oh God, I pray. Hallelujah. Tell somebody said I came to praise the Lord. Oh God, I pray. Oh God, I pray. All right. All right. We're going to ask Pastor George. If she would come, we thank God for Pastor Joyce that's getting ready to lead us in praise and worship. Let's bless God for her today. Come on. know he's worthy. Lift your hands right now. You know he's worthy. How many people have joy on this morning? How many people have joy? Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're thankful for joy that cannot be taken away from us. Can we get our joy from an eternal source? Amen. We get our joy from God. How many people are excited about God this morning? Help us sing this song. It says, you give me joy down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you 
Worship him. Come on, if you know he's worthy. Hallelujah, Lord. You give us joy, Jesus. We honor your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We honor your name, Lord. Your name is worthy, Jesus. Your name is worthy, Lord. Your name is worthy, Jesus. People love the Lord Hallelujah. on this morning. Thank you, Father. We love Him with our whole heart. Thank you, Father. The name of this song says, Oh, how we love you. It's a powerful song. Let it minister to you as we minister this song to you. But we just implore that you just really get in His presence. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Yes, we do. Thank you, Lord.
lift your voices with us. Oh, how we worship. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, how we love you. We love you, Jesus. Oh, how we praise you. No one above you, Jesus. Oh, how we worship. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord.
Oh God, I praise your name. Father, I bless your name. Father, I glorify you. Oh God, I praise Somebody glorify Hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah Father, I bless your name Oh God, I praise you I am a Oh God Thank you Lord, thank you Andabasia Somebody give him a round. Give God a round of applause. Come on. Thank God for the word. For those. For praise. You may be seated. Thank God for praise and worship from Pastor Joyce and Minister Josh and Brother St. Quan and um, Deacon Minister Jawan. They did an awesome job of leading us. And praise and worship. Come on. You did an awesome job of leading us in praise and worship. Hallelujah to God. How many of y'all know God is here? Tell your neighbor, say, God is here. And he's here now. Huh? Yes, sir. Anybody besides me feel what I'm feeling. Listen, I know I got to preach. I got to preach. But we we going to dance before I preach. Oh, God, I pray. God be good. be seated in the presence of the Lord. You didn't have Bibles. I want to read two particular scriptures, but keep your Bible open because I want to go to several places. You didn't have Bibles. Turn with me to uh, Proverbs, the third chapter, 
in verse number six, Proverbs three and six says, and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. And all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. And then we want to go to Romans, the eighth chapter. Go to Romans. Romans, the eighth chapter. I want verse 28 and then I want verse 32. And we know that all things work together for, for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Romans 8 and 31 said, what shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. I, I want to preach from the subject, and I may put a little new tw uh, twist in it, is maintaining the God factor. Tell your neighbor, say maintaining the God factor. Now listen, you, you may not be excited over the word today, but I would ask you, if you would, to just act like you're excited. Is that all right? Hallelujah to God. Show some type of excitement or some type of, uh, oh God, I praise you. Mm. I don't know what to tell you, but anyway, hallelujah to God. We find out that we factor in everything in this world that tells us and dictate us what to factor in. When it comes to the economy and situations and circumstance and a lot of times our own common sense and our imagination and history, we, we factor all these things into our decision-making process, but a lot of times we fail to factor in God. The Bible tells us that we, we, we find out that sometimes we factor in even every high thing, and this high thing have exalted itself against the knowledge of God. And we factor that in. If we factor in graphs and charts and worldly trends and what is the fad of the day. And, and we go and we get worldly counsel and, uh, and we listen to the desires and the feelings of our flesh. And we factor logic and reasoning and uh, we factor in education and we factor in our networking. But we fail to factor in God. When will we walk by faith with a renewed mind and factor in God? You've got to understand that God will honor us when we factor him in. I think it's Matthew 29 and 26 that says, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. You've got to understand that God makes the mission impossible. He makes it possible. I call it the God factor. It is the God factor where we trust God before we put our trust in anything else. And we as the people of God must maintain our God factor. The enemy wants us to get blessed and lose our God factor. He wants us to listen in and skid us around people that can counsel us and cause us to lose our God factor. But we've got to learn to maintain our God factor. You've got to understand the Bible said that in Isaiah 40 and 8 that the grass withereth. The flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. You've got to understand, tell your neighbor, the grass is going to wither. You can get caught up in that pretty green grass if you want to, but the grass is going to wither. Listen, as worsome as grass is, we all love grass. I don't know anybody with a house of any type of caliber, hallelujah, that said, dig up all my grass. I don't want no grass in my yard because we love the pretty green grass. But how many I know the grass is going to wither? 
Hallelujah. Minister Brad, as pretty as the flowers is and the flower bed is, how many of y'all know the flower is going to fade? How many of y'all know we can get caught up in the smell and the beauty of the flower, but it will fade? The Bible tells us that it's going to fade and it's going to wither. The grass is going to dry up and going to disappoint. The flower is going to crumble, but the word of the Lord is going to rise up and be upheld. What are you saying, Pastor? Whatever that is that you're trusting in, I'm telling you, it's going to disappoint. Whatever that thing that you're depending on is going to eventually crumble. And if it is not tied and connected to the word of God, it's going to dry up, disappoint, and going to crumble. So, Pastor, how how do I factor God in? The Bible said in uh, uh, Matthew 6 and 32, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and these things will be added unto you. Uh, Jesus is trying to get us, come on here, he's trying to get us to have a lifestyle to make sure that we're factoring in God. God. A lot of us, I hate to say it by the sound of my voice, we have lost our God factor. We have been seeking, th we are seeking things uh, and not the king. Uh, and we have placed God second and third in our life. Uh, but pastor, what are you saying? We've got to factor God in by making him top priority. Look at somebody and say top priority. Somebody give God a hand clap and say top priority. Yes, sir. Hallelujah to God. We've got to make sure that I think it's Proverbs 3 and 6 that says, and all our ways acknowledge him and he will direct our paths. So you've got to understand when we get, when we have and maintain our God factor, we won't make a decision without factoring in God. I don't know about you, but I can't make a major decision in my life without hearing a yea in a thus saith the Lord. A lot of times when it comes to our children, we don't even acknowledge God. When it comes to our marriage, we don't even acknowledge God. When it comes to our career, we don't even acknowledge God. When it comes to our relationships and associations and our fellowships, uh, we don't even acknowledge God. When it comes to money making decisions, and major decisions in our life we don't even honor God uh, but I don't know about you but I want God uh, to order my steps uh, I want to have an attitude uh, and a mindset that God is ordering my steps look at somebody and say order my steps somebody give God a praise Praise your name. The next one I want you to turn to Philippians 4 and 13. Philippians 4 and 13 said, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Make sure when we maintain our God factor that Christ is, we've got to know in our spirit that Christ is strengthening us. It is the strength when we know that Christ is strengthening us and we go forth in his strength. Hallelujah to God. It is the ability of God that gives the believer combative and confrontive force. I am a combative and confronted force even against the king of darkness tell your neighbor I'm a doer because I continue to draw strength from Christ you've got to understand the word never and I can't is not a part of my vocabulary as long as I'm receiving strength from the anointed one and that that's when we factor God in when we said hallelujah with the strength of God I know I can do it we give up too fast because we don't have a God factor mindset hallelujah tell your neighbor yes I can yes I can 
Yes, sir. That's my declaration. My declaration is yes, I can. Uh, hallelujah to God. Come on here. You got to tell your devil, yes, I can. You got to tell your flesh, yes, I can. You got to tell the enemy, yes, I can. Because the Bible said it's not by my might uh, nor by my power, but it's by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Yes, sir. Tell your neighbor, maintain your God factor. Yes, sir. Tell your neighbor, factor guardian. Uh, oh, God, I praise your name when it comes to meeting my needs. Uh, I've got to learn to factor guardian. Uh, what do you mean, Pastor? Uh, hallelujah to God. The Bible tells us in Philippians uh, 16 and verse number 19, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. Uh, how God, I praise you. And when it says, for, when it says supply all your need, tell your neighbor it means to fulfill all your business uh, yes sir tell your neighbor God hallelujah will take care of business uh, oh God and I don't know about y'all but if you turn it over to God uh, tell your neighbor it's, uh, it's in his hand uh, Lord help me Jesus uh, oh God I praise you it is according to his riches and glory tell your neighbor feel to capacity uh, because you've got to understand when you have uh, that mind that God wants you to have uh, when you maintain the God factor uh, it is in your mind that the Lord is my shepherd uh, and I shall not want Lord touch me up a little bit oh God I praise you oh God I praise you and you've got to understand when you have a, a God factor mindset how many of y'all know it's in my spirit tell your neighbor it's in my spirit uh, and the spirit is can God prepare a table uh, in the wilderness can God arrange a feast uh, can God watch this y'all uh, can God set up a buffet right here ha uh, God I praise you uh, can God deliver a banquet even in the wilderness Oh God, I pray for you. Can God give me a table? Tell your neighbor, come on here with utensils and with vessels. He knows how to prepare a table. The Bible said he prepares a table right in the presence of my enemy. Tell your neighbor, fact the God here. Somebody's got a need right now. And you're trying to figure out how I'm going to meet the need. I dare you to fact the God in. Abraham, fact the God in. Hallelujah to God. Come on here. Huh? When Abraham came and he had to sacrifice his son, Abraham said, come on here. Huh? Me and the lad shall return. Huh? Hallelujah. I don't know how it's going to happen. Huh? I don't know, know how God's going to do it. Huh? But I can tell you this. Me and the lad shall return. Tell your neighbor, you got a fact to go to it. Huh? I don't know about you, but I pay my tithes huh? according to Malachi 3 because huh? I fact the God in to bless me. Huh? I'm looking for God to bless me in the city and bless me in the field, huh? bless my basket and bless my store. Hallelujah. I want God to bless me. Huh? I don't know about y'all. I'm tired of being broke. Huh? I want God to bless me huh? because my way has gotten me nowhere. Huh? Tell your neighbor, my way has gotten me nowhere. Uh, doing my own thing and, and hitting the calculator on my own and figuring up my own budget has got me nowhere Oh God, I pray you tell your neighbor I'm still running down and chasing down bills. Uh, hallelujah to God. But when I fact the God and all I know, uh, tell your neighbor God is my business partner. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? How the rent getting paid? I don't know. Uh, I know it's paid. I know my light bill paid. Uh, how I'm still driving what I'm driving. Uh, I know this is God. Uh, oh God, and he holds back the curse. Uh, tell your neighbor he holds back the curse. Uh, because let me tell you something. You you can't outrun the curse, huh? You can't out save the curse, huh? You can't out budget the curse, huh? But tell your neighbor, but when I factor God in, uh, God is my source, huh? I want you to know that job is just a resource, huh? That little bit of money I got in the bank is just a resource, huh? But God is my source, huh? 
tell you never fact the guardian oh god i praise your name come on here huh? some of us right here under the sound of my voice huh? we living in houses and we have to scratch our head how huh? we driving cars and we have to scratch our head how huh? how you living in there huh? you don't even make forty thousand dollars a year huh? how you driving that huh? on that income huh? tell you never yeah but one thing you failed to do huh? you got a fact the god in huh? tell you never come on here with god huh? one and one don't equal two huh when you factor God in one and one, huh? Ah, huh? one and one make a ten, huh? God tell you, you got to factor God in. Oh God, I praise you. Huh? Oh God, tell you never the next thing you got to factor God in to bring us out. Huh? Tell you never come on here. Tell them say maintain huh? your God factor. Huh? You got to factor God to bring us out. Huh? The Bible said that you cause men, uh, hallelujah, to God to ride over our head. Huh? We went through the water and we went through the fire. Huh? Uh, but the Lord brought us into a wealthy place. Huh? We went through the waters of affliction. Huh? And the flames of fire huh? but the Lord brought us to a wealthy place huh? and that way a wealthy place was a place of satisfaction huh? it was a place of satiation huh? it was a place that I could drink until I was full huh? yes sir huh? tell your neighbor past victory huh? ah, tells me come on here huh? that you're somebody going through right now huh? somebody scratching your head right now trying to figure out Lord how am I going to get out of this? Huh? But tell your neighbor, look at the past victory. Huh? Tell your neighbor, look at history. Huh? And I don't know about y'all, but history tell me huh? that I'm going to be all, all right. Huh? David, David said, listen here. Huh? There's nobody here to fight Goliath. Huh? But David said, hold on. Huh? Ah, let me go. Huh? And they said, man, you're just a little child. You don't know nothing about this. Huh? But David said, but hold on. Huh? You have and check my resume God, I pray here. Huh? Oh, this is good here. Huh? Oh, God. Brother Brandon, huh? David, huh? Huh? David turned in his resume, huh? and they turned him around at the door. Huh? They said, David, we can't hire you huh? to go fight against Goliath. Huh? But David said, hold on. Huh? Ah, before you turn me away, huh? check my resume. Huh? And on my resume, huh? ah, there's a, there was a lion that came. Lord have mercy I done killed the lion God delivered me out of the paw of the lion and God delivered me out of the paw of the bear and he's going to deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine David said come on here you don't understand I've got a God fact the mindset uh, and everything I do uh, I factor God in it uh, I shy, uh, and I know if you just look at me uh, there ain't no way that I can uh, uh, win this battle uh, but you don't understand uh, how I factor God in uh, tell your neighbor to maintain uh, your God factor mindset I don't know about y'all, but God did not allow me to stay here. Huh? Hallelujah to God. He didn't allow me to stay here. Huh? But tell your neighbor, I'm coming out of here. Huh? Lord, whatever I'm in, I'm coming out of it. Huh? You better tell the devil, get your last in now. Because huh? at the end, Brother Marcus, I'm going to have the last laugh. Huh? When it's all said and done now, uh, not yet, son. Huh? Lord Jesus. Huh? Uh, but you can roll with me just with that. Huh? But when it's all Oh, when it's all said and done huh? Tell your neighbor, I'm going to be all right Lord have mercy huh? And he says now huh? He said now huh? Hallelujah to God And I told y'all two weeks ago huh? That Jonah fat God in. Huh? Jonah said I done messed up now. Huh? And I done went down huh? to the 
bottoms of the mountain. Uh, Tell your I'm not at the base of the mountain, uh, but I'm at the bottoms of the mountain. Uh, and the earth with her bars are about me. Uh, he said, but Lord, uh, you brought me up. Uh, uh, you brought my life up from corruption. Uh, oh, Lord, I pray. Uh, tell your neighbor, as long as I fact the guardian, uh, tell, look at somebody said, don't ever count me out. Lord help me Jesus uh, I mean I don't know about y'all but I've been counted out many a time uh, there have been plenty of times folks that put an X next to me uh, said he's done he's done uh, he's done for the account uh, but they didn't fail to realize uh, in my mind uh, I was saying Lord I know I'm down right now uh, uh, but I'm coming up out of here <laughs> Lord Tell your neighbor, fact the God in you. Huh? Lord have mercy. Huh? So what are you saying, Pastor? Huh? When you fact the God in you, huh? tell your neighbor, God is in control of all things. Huh? Tell your neighbor, yes, sir. Huh? That uh, brother Sanquad, huh? that God is in control of the narrative. Huh? What are you saying, Pastor? Huh? Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. Huh? That God, tell your neighbor, maintain. Huh? Maintain your God factor. Uh, what are you trying to say pastor uh, the enemy wants to steal your God factor away uh, your mindset uh, of the God factor uh, he want to steal it away uh, the enemy want to tell you uh, that it ain't going to never happen uh, that serving the Lord is just a waste of time uh, he wants to take away that mind factor uh, oh Lord I pray uh, and I know you're going through right now uh, and somebody said pastor I've been going through uh, for a long time uh, but I want y'all to know uh, that if you got a mindset uh, a God factor mindset uh, that we know uh, that often uh, tell you they work together for the good uh, listen I don't understand it right now uh, and I may have to cry uh, but that's alright uh, only thing I know uh, is just working together huh, for my good. Huh? Tell you, neighbor, it's working together huh, for my good. Huh? And Jonah got delivered because huh, he factored God in. Huh? And Paul got delivered because huh, he factored God in. Huh? Caleb and Joshua huh, got delivered huh, because they factored God in. Huh? What are you saying, Pastor? Huh? The Bible said uh, that many are the afflictions uh, of the righteous, uh, but the Lord, uh, the Lord uh, will deliver me uh, out of them all. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, if Joseph was here, uh, Joseph would tell us uh, that I experienced uh, the God factor uh, in my going through. Uh, I held on. And I kept my mind I kept my mind on the Lord What are you saying pastor What are you trying to tell us pastor That serving the Lord That is going to pay off That your obedience That is going to pay off That walking by faith That is going to pay off When you work the word It's going to pay off Tell your neighbor It's going to pay off uh, when I look at uh, the Hebrew boy uh, they factored in God uh, and they told the king uh, we not gonna eat uh, not gonna eat your meat uh, and they told the king uh, we not gonna bow down uh, to your music uh, or your women uh, but we trust God uh, we believe God uh, we're gonna maintain uh, our mindset uh, that we're gonna factor in God, uh, somebody read back uh, uh, and say, Yeah, Lord have mercy uh, when we factor in God uh, when it comes uh, to our enemy's expectation. Uh, tell your neighbor, uh, the Bible said, because uh, I factored in God. Uh, 
that no weapon uh, that's formed against me uh, that it shall not prosper uh, with the God mindset uh, when I factor in God uh, I know uh, that God may allow uh, allow the weapon to form uh, the weapon may form uh, but it won't prosper uh, at the end uh, God uh, is going to get the glory. Uh, somebody read back uh, and say, yeah. Oh, God, I praise you. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, that God is going to deliver us uh, from the enemy's expectation. Uh, I know the enemy uh, expects us to fall. Uh, the enemy expects us uh, to throw our hands up uh, and to call it quits. Uh, the enemy expects us uh, to uh, uh, to speak evil against God. Uh, but I've got to maintain uh, my mindset uh, that I'm factoring God in. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, it's just a matter of time uh, that the Lord uh, is going to show up uh, on my behalf. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Uh, the Bible said uh, that Paul and Silas, uh, when they were preaching, uh, they were preaching the gospel. Uh, and for preaching the gospel, uh, 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 they cast the devil uh, out of a soothsayer uh, and when they cast the devil out uh, they throw them in prison uh, and they whooped them real good uh, anybody uh, with a normal mindset uh, would have just threw their hands up uh, but the bible said uh, at midnight uh, they prayed uh, and gave God praise uh, what are you saying pastor uh, somebody uh, in here today uh, somebody uh, by way of Facebook uh, somebody's out there uh, it's a midnight uh, you in a midnight situation uh, you in a midnight circumstance uh, you in a midnight trial uh, and you're ready to throw your hands up uh, but I want you to do me one thing uh, before you throw your hands up uh, factor in God uh, before you throw your hands up uh, factor in God uh, and the Bible the Bible said uh, that they prayed uh, and sang praises unto God uh, and here come God uh, come on here uh, God delivered them uh, right on time uh, what are you saying pastor uh, God got in the ship uh, and on the ship uh, the, uh, the ship uh, ran the thunder uh, Paul tried to tell her uh, that if we go out on the ship uh, Everything going to be lost. Huh? But Paul got the plan. Huh? And the Bible said huh? that Paul came up huh? after a long absence. Huh? Tell your neighbor, huh? sometime huh? when you're going through, huh? you got to go under. Huh? Sometime huh? when you're going through, huh? you got to go in the dark. Huh? Sometime huh? when you're going through, huh? you got to take an absence. Huh? Sometime when you're going through uh, Paul had to steal away uh, steal away and pray uh, but Paul came up uh, came up on the ship uh, and said listen here y'all uh, go ahead and eat you something uh. he said let me tell y'all something uh, there was an angel uh, that appeared before me uh, an angel of God uh, whose I am uh, and whom I serve uh, and he told me to tell y'all uh, that ain't nobody uh, gonna lose Lose their life. Uh, he said, but God uh, is gonna take us through. Uh, and Paul said, uh, I believe, uh, I believe God uh, that it shall be uh, even as uh, it was told me. Uh, tell your neighbor uh, that's it right there. Uh, the God mindset. Uh, I believe God uh, that it shall be uh, even as uh, it was told me. Uh, if God said it, I believe it. If God said it, I'm going to hold him to it. If God said it, I'm going to hold on. Hold on.
God have mercy. Uh, tell your neighbor uh, of God's act of mindset. Uh, and when Paul got on the island, uh, I shy, uh, tell your neighbor uh, it was cold on the island. Uh, and they had a fire going. Uh, and out of the fire, uh, here come the serpent. Uh, tell your neighbor uh, the serpent uh, shows up. Uh, out of the fire, ha, ha, sha, ha. well anyway, ha, that's another message, ha. when they latched on to Paul, ha, but Paul shook him off, ha. somewhere, ha. Paul read, ha. come on here, ha. Ha, that he had power, ha. power over the serpent, ha. what are you saying pastor, ha. and they kept looking at Paul, ha. say he's gonna fall down dead, ha. you know what they said, ha. they said minister Brad, ha. he a Escape the sea, huh? but vengeance caught up with him. Huh? He getting his now. Huh? He thought he got away, huh? but he getting his now. Huh? After a while, huh? the Bible said huh? they kept on looking huh? and they changed their mind. Huh? What are you saying, Pastor? Huh? They looking for you huh? to lose your car. Huh? They looking for you huh? to lose your house. Huh? They expecting you, huh? expecting you to fall. Huh? But after a while, huh? they're gonna change, huh? change their mind, huh? and they're gonna say, huh? surely huh? the Lord. Huh? The Lord is with them, uh, surely, uh, the goodness of the Lord. God have mercy. Uh, I got to quit here, y'all. Uh, what is my message? Uh, my message to the saints here uh, to maintain uh, your God factor. Uh, Joe maintain, uh, maintain his God factor. Uh, tell you but trust God uh, through it all. Uh, listen here, y'all. Uh, there's three stages. Uh, you gotta trust God uh, and maintain uh, your God factor. Uh, tell your neighbor the good. You got to deal with the good When God is blessing you Know how to walk in the good When God is blessing you Your mindset Your mindset should be If it had not been For the goodness of the Lord If it had not been For the Lord Who was on my side If it had not been For the Lord I never would have got the job uh, if it had not been uh, for the goodness of the Lord, uh, I never uh, would have pulled my application. Uh, if it had not been uh, for the goodness of the Lord, uh, tell your neighbor, uh, come on here. Uh, there are a lot of folks uh, can't handle the good, uh, but even in the good, uh, in my new house, uh, I'm praising the Lord. Uh, driving my new car, uh, I'm praising the Lord. Uh, I still. Uh, got my mind uh, Come on here uh, My God factor uh, Mindset uh, My head uh, Hadn't blowed up uh, I'm still uh, Walking on the ground uh, I'm still walking uh, In humility uh, I don't think uh, I'm better than nobody uh, Cause I'm telling y'all uh, Only thing uh, That has me here uh, Is the blessing uh, Of the Lord uh, only thing uh, that had me here uh, is the Lord. Tell your name, uh, even in the good, uh, you got to bless God. Uh, this is not a time uh, to backslide. Uh, this is not a time uh, to turn your back now. Uh, turn your back on God. Uh, I know you got the position. Uh, you a supervisor now, uh, but maintain uh, your God factor. Uh, don't let the enemy tell you uh, my education uh, got me here. Uh, don't let the devil tell you uh, all what I did uh, got me here. Uh, it was an actor. Uh, it was a factor. Uh, God took uh, what you did uh, and he used it uh, for his glory. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it was the Lord uh, that brought me here. Uh, it was the Lord uh, that raised me up. Uh, it was the Lord. Uh, tell your neighbor, uh, maintain. Yeah, uh, tell you, uh, listen. Uh, 
I got to quit somewhere. Tell your neighbor, huh? even doing the bad, huh? I got to maintain huh? my God factor. Huh? It is doing the bad huh? that God will give you the grace huh? to deal with the bad. Huh? Tell your neighbor, huh? God will give you the grace huh? to deal with the bad. Huh? Anybody in here huh? been through some bad stuff? Huh? Anybody in here? Huh? There's some bad things huh? helping in your life huh? and you don't know huh? how you put one foot huh? in front of another. Huh? You don't know how, how you came to church. How, you don't know how, how you was able to go on. How, you don't know how, how you didn't lose your mind. How, but even in the bad, how, God gave you the grace how, to deal with it. How, God gave you the grace how, to go through it. How, and then the last thing, how, can't even the ugly. How, how many of y'all know how, even doing the ugliest how, part of our lives? How, how uh, the enemy expected us uh, to backslide uh, and turn our backs uh, on the Lord. Uh, but it's doing the ugly, uh, doing my ugly. Uh, God literally uh, picked me up uh, and carried me, uh, doing the ugly. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, out of all, uh, oh, out of all. Uh, out of all I've been through, I'm still here. Out of all the trials I've been, out of all the dark days, I'm still here. What are you saying, Pastor? Should have been dead, should have lost my mind, but God. Oh God, I pray. Listen. Uh, I'm about done. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, I want to talk to the folks uh, that lost their God factor. Uh, go back uh, and get your God factor. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, you got to go back uh, and get your God factor. Uh, Pastor, what you talking about? Uh, David uh, had the God factor. Uh, and David said, uh, Oh God, I pray. Uh, Minister John. Uh, David said, I'm going to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord because I got a God that the mindset. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust the Hebrew boy said, we ain't going to bow. Listen here, King, I don't care what you do, we ain't going to bow. Cause we factored huh? God in huh? to the situation. Huh? The prodigal son huh? looked at his situation. Huh? He said, you know what my problem is? Huh? When I got blessed, huh? I took God huh? out of the equation. Huh? He said, but that's all right. Huh? He told the devil, huh? I may be stinking. Huh? I may be hungry. Huh? Look like a bum. Huh? But one thing, huh? I uh, you messed up, huh? You allowed me uh, to fat the God in. Uh, and he said, You know what? Uh, I'm going back home uh, to my daddy. Uh, there's restoration uh, in my daddy's house. Uh, uh, oh. I know. Uh, listen here. Uh, I'm trying to quit. Uh, believe it or not, y'all. Uh, I ain't got to the best part. Uh, but listen, I'm trying to quit. Uh, uh, I tell your neighbor uh, when you got a God factor mindset, uh, you tell God uh, you got this. Uh, somebody tell God uh, you got this. Oh God. Uh, Somebody, uh, uh, somebody look up toward heaven uh, and say, Lord, uh, you got this. Uh, somebody say, God, you got this. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, maintain uh, your God. Uh, fact and mindset. Uh, I'm done here. Uh, but listen here. Uh, two more things uh, that I want to tell you. Uh, I was taught. Uh, from a child up, uh, the fact that God in, uh, in my upbringing, uh, I was taught uh, to invoke God, uh, help, uh, and that he will help us uh, 
He will deliver us. Uh, he'll bring us out. Uh, I shall. Uh, and what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, God is. Uh, oh, God. Uh, I feel like shouting. Uh, I feel like dancing. Uh, but God is. Uh, help me, Jesus. Uh, but God is. Uh, when I factor God in. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, got a problem. Uh, anybody? Uh, Remember the, uh, the news ad, uh, got a problem, uh, question mark, uh, all the odds uh, stacked up against you, uh, question mark, uh, call uh, the equalizer, uh, what are you saying pastor, uh, you don't understand uh, why I still got joy, uh, you don't understand uh, why I'm still excited, uh, I got a God uh, that the mindset, uh, and God uh, is my equalizer. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, hi, uh, oh God, uh, Lord, help me. Uh, hi, uh, I will uh, rise, uh, rise again. Uh, this child, uh, this tribulation uh, is not uh, my destiny. Uh, I will uh, rise uh, again. Uh, God. Uh, is uh, my uh, equalizer. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, this burden uh, is too heavy for me. Uh, but God uh, is my equalizer. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, not just my equalizer, uh, but the Bible. Uh, the Bible lets us know uh, that if God uh, be for us, uh, who uh, can be against us? Uh, I'm so glad. Tell your neighbor fact the God is. Listen, huh? lastly, huh? and I'm done. Huh? Listen here, huh? I got a word huh? for the United States. Huh? of America. Huh? You need to factor God in. Huh? Lord have mercy. Huh? Come on here, America. Huh? You need to factor God in. Huh? Listen here. Huh? There was a day huh, that we went to school huh? and we just didn't say huh? I pledge allegiance huh, to the flag. Huh? But we would pray huh, to our God. Huh? But now prayer huh, is out the school. Huh? Prayer huh, almost out the church. Huh? But that's all right. Huh? But if America huh, would factor God in, huh, he would turn huh, things in our favor. Huh? If America huh, would factor God in, huh, I truly believe huh, that Corona huh, got to go. Huh? The variant huh, got to go. Huh? The Delta variant huh, got to go. Huh? The Gamma variant huh, got to go. Huh? We got to get back huh, on our knees huh, and fact the Guardian. Huh? The Bible. Huh? The Bible. Huh? The Bible says huh? if my people huh, which are called huh, by my name huh, would humble huh, themselves huh, and pray huh, seek my face huh, turn huh, from the wicked ways huh, it is then huh, what I hear from heaven huh, forgive their sin huh, heal their land huh, tell your neighbor huh, that the God is heard somebody said his isness is his business tell your neighbor his isness is his business he is my rock he is my fortress ah, you don't understand when I fact the God in he is my deliverer he is my God he is my strength he is my buckler he is my hot tower huh? he's the horn of my salvation
I can transform God into whatever I need him to be. Tell your neighbor, he is my healer. He is my deliverer. Tell your neighbor, maintain. Maintain. God factor. Go back and get your God factor. Where did you lose it? Where did you lose your God factor mindset? And wherever you lost it, go back and get it. Did you, did you lose it when you got blessed? Did you lose it when you was going through? Did you lose it when things got ugly? Or did you say, Pastor, I hadn't lost anything? Lord have mercy. Oh God, I praise you. Somebody read back and said, I ain't lost nothing, Pastor. Oh God, I praise you. So what are you trying to tell me? Huh? I know in whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he's able to keep that huh? which I have committed unto him huh? against that day. Huh? Somebody read back and say, Pastor. I still got it. Somebody ran back and said, I still got it. I still got him. Pastor, I got him. Uh, and I'm not going to turn him loose uh, until he bless me. Uh, I'm not going to turn him loose uh, till he turn uh, things in my favor. Uh, goodbye. The Bible said uh, that weeping uh, may endure uh, just for a night, uh, but somebody ran back uh, say joy, uh, joy, uh, joy. Minister Cherie, you telling me you still got him? Minister Jennifer, you trying to tell me that you still got him? Tell your name, the enemy try to take my mind. What mind? What you mean when he say he try to take my mind? He try to take my God factor mindset. Uh, he try to tell me to take God out of the equation. Uh, if I take God out of the equation, uh, man, I lose my mind. Uh, if I take God out of the equation, uh, I throw my hands up and won't even look back. Uh, but God. songwriter said that God is not through uh, blessing you uh, tell your neighbor uh, it ain't over uh, instead of being over uh, it's on uh, tell your neighbor uh, get ready uh, cause it's on uh, what are you saying pastor uh, my blessing uh, my deliverance uh, my breakthrough uh, it's on the way uh, it's on the way uh, the Bible Oh, uh, say the vision, uh, it is yet to uh, If you got a God factor mindset, give God a praise. Just stand up. If it, I don't care if it's a hand praise, a dance praise, just give God a praise.
God, I praise your name. Take that book. When I'm going through the good, I must keep a God factor. Let me ask you something. You can be seated. Can you stand to be blessed? Or when you get blessed at you, you want to pat your own self on the back and it's all what you did and you want the praises of men and you want the high praises and you no longer even say God did it, but you talk about all what you did. Tell them you got to keep a God factor mindset. And there's nothing wrong with praising God and giving God praise for what he's bringing you to. Nothing wrong with that. It's called a testimony. Nothing wrong with that. And I'm not telling you to be lazy and don't do your part. God wants to use your education endeavors. He wants to use your vocational endeavors. He wants to use any effort that you put forth on your own. And he'll take it to another level. And take you places that you thought you'd never go. Hallelujah to God. Is that all right? People smarter than you will look and say, man, how did you do this? You say, man, it's the goodness of the Lord. It's just the mercy of God. How about doing the bad? That's a tough thing for us when we're going through the bad. We get hit with punches out of nowhere. Things happen that we weren't looking for. And it's the bad that get us. It's the bad because we just left a place of good. And the bad get us. And whether y'all know it or not, God got us doing the uglies. Whether you know it or not. Ugly is worse than bad. But when you at the place of ugly, you know what you're saying? You write what God wants you. I don't even care no more. God said, there you go. That's why I was trying to get you to. A place where you don't care anymore. You're not putting care for. You're, you're not worried. What you're saying is, I ain't worried about it no more. Ain't nothing I could do about it. Guess what? Won't nothing about it. You could do about it from the beginning. And when things really, listen, we had a good place. Pastor, I'm making good money. I'm at a good place. And don't we tell folks that I'm in a good place. How about in a bad place? Pastor, they demoted me and they cut my hours. But tell them you still got a job. And the same way they demoted me, God know how to raise me back up. Is that all right? But you know what? Now you lost your job. They went ahead and fired you. You in an ugly place. And seem like you'd be worse off than at the bad. But see, God got you at the ugly place. And that's why you say stuff like, God gave me that job, he'll give me a no. Ain't done no fool. God will make a way. I pay my tithe. Tell them you at the place of ugly. But see, God got you though. You think it's you, but that's God carrying you. Have y'all ever noticed at the bad place, we don't want to go to church. At the bad place, we think twice about paying our time. At the bad, but at the ugly, I have no other choice. No other choice but to trust God. At a bad place, Pastor, you may pray for me. Pastor, God better do something and do something fast. But in the ugly place, how you doing? I'm just trusting God. Just believe. I don't even want to talk about it. Have y'all ever noticed that? Have you ever noticed? Have anybody ever been there? Give God a hand, pray. I hope and pray something I said today was a blessing to you. Maintaining the God factor. Maintaining the God factor. I didn't want to preach it from a standpoint of not saying you didn't have it. 
but I wanted to tell you to maintain it. And if you lost it, go back and get it. Go back and, because that is our edge. That gives us the edge. Maintain it, our God. Give, somebody give God a hand, pray one more time. Listen, you by way of Facebook, if you want to give, if you want to give by way of Facebook, uh, somebody put the cash app symbol up. If you want to give by way of Facebook, if this message was a blessing to you by way of Facebook, and you said, Pastor, I, I want to sow a seed. I, I, I want to give something to be a blessing to the ministry, to be a blessing to the people of God. Just go ahead and, and sow that seed. Go ahead and sow the seed. God, I praise your name. Listen, you by way of Facebook, I double dare you. I double dare you to come back on Wednesday. I double dare you to come back on Wednesday. You by Victory Tabernacle, tell everybody, tell everybody, tell everybody, tell all the members they need to tune in on Wednesday night. Is that all right? Tell them they need to tune in on Wednesday night. We still, how many of y'all enjoying the, the series on Abraham? April. Yes. Yes. Well, we're getting ready to to bring some other things out concerning Abram, okay? And uh, I just want everybody to be able to receive the word of God on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. It's going to be awesome. Just trust me. I'm telling y'all. It's going to be awesome, okay? We thank God for the word. I, you by way of Facebook, hallelujah to God. I want to see y'all back Wednesday at 7 o'clock. We're getting ready to sign you off. But you by way of Facebook. Somebody ask the question, is any word from the Lord? I want you to know that, yes, there's a word from the Lord. Until then, we'll see you on Wednesday at 7 o'clock for the conclusion of the whole matter. Y'all, let's give Facebook a round of applause. Come on.